How's it going, y'all? So just recently, I had to do some research about BPD and write a little essay on it. So I figured, why not share what I learned with y'all? So what is BPD? BPD stands for Borderline Personality Disorder. The name is a holdover from its history, back when mental illnesses were thought as, as treatable or untreatable, and BPD was seen as the borderline between that. Now, since then, the criteria for stuff has changed immensely, but the name has stuck as a legacy of that. So, what is BPD characterized by? Well, a lot of it is high highs and low lows. So, for example, a person with BPD might feel amazing. This is what's known as a mania. And then they could easily switch to feeling a deep, deep depression. Think of it sort of like bipolar disorder, but more extreme. Now, that doesn't characterize everything about BPD. There's more aspects to it, such as paranoid thoughts, which basically just means uncontrollable thinking, where you're worried about everyone being out there to get you. And there are nine criteria, as you can see here and here. But today, we're going to look more into the biopsychology side of BPD. So what is the biology of BPD? Well, you see, these high highs and low lows, these racing thoughts, all has to do with your limbic system, also known as your reward center. Now, this system is what regulates your motivation what makes you get up in the morning, what makes you want to go outside and get things done. And it motivates in two major ways. It motivates first by giving rewards. It makes you happy to do things. If you drink water, it gives you a little bit of dopamine. If it didn't, you would stop drinking water and die of dehydration. But there's a second aspect to it involving the amygdala. The amygdala is the fear response. That's your, let's get away from this. So with the amygdala, that'll activate in times of concern, making you want to flee the scene. And when you leave, that then triggers your limbic system to then reward you for getting away from it. You see how this feedback loop works? Now with BPD, it's a little bit more funky. The limbic system, the reward center, is a bit more sensitive in BPD, effectively meaning, if something would give us mild satisfaction normally, someone with BPD might get more satisfaction out of it, or a lot less. They don't get that average middle ground that most neurotypical people do. And then combo that with having an overactive amygdala, one that is more prone to release a fear response. You can see how BPD creates someone to have a high highs and then a sudden low low. You can see how that feedback can create those paranoid thoughts. But is BPD permanent? Is it something you can't do anything about? Well, no, it is a highly, highly treatable disorder. The biggest and best treatment for it is known as DBT, which stands for Dialectical Behavioral Therapy. So DBT was specifically designed for people with BPD. What it does is it helps you recognize your thoughts, recognize where those emotions are coming from, then either express them or express them in a more creative way rather than a destructive way, which is characterized by a typical BPD sufferer. Those who have gone to therapy and received this type of treatment shows massive reductions in their BPD symptoms over the next few years, many to the point where they don't meet the criteria to be diagnosed with BPD anymore. And now, DBT isn't the only solution. It should be part of a set. If you just rely on one thing to solve your, your mental health issues, you are not going to get it solved. So sometimes, BPD sufferers will have their therapy alongside some medications to handle the depressions or highs. This can include anxiety medications, antidepressants, and even some bipolar disorder medicines. Currently, there's no medications made specifically for people with BPD, but there has been some proof to show that these medications and even some mild, and let me stress this, mild antipsychotic medicines can help alongside DPT therapy. Well, hey, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was interesting. And yeah, let me know what y'all think. I have my essay I just wrote in the description along with some sources. If you have any questions or if you have some information I don't know, I'd love to hear. I'm still studying. I am not a professional quite yet. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.